Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video today I'm going to be making little pillar candles. So I've got one of the, the moulds here. So this is just an, a mould that I've already stuck through the needle and the thread and tied it onto some candle wick. I've already done that in advance because it probably took me about 10 minutes to thread the thread through the eye of the needle. And uh, well, I'm sure none of you want to be sitting around watching me trying to do that. So anyway, I've got that threaded through now and I've just poked that through the end of the mold. So if any of you are not aware and you're making pillar candles using these type of molds, the actual wick, you have to feed through the mold, so through the middle. So you have to get something to push it through uh, or to pull it through either way. But i have using a needle here, which I've uh, just pushed through already and I've tied that on with a bit of string just onto the end of the, the candle wick here. So I'm just using a candle wick on a spool. Obviously I'm just gonna use the, the length that I need just to go through here and stick out the top. So in this particular mold, they're normally done upside down. So that is how the mold will be sitting when I pour it in. But that actually up here is gonna be the top of the finished product. So when I pull my thread through, this will be my wick sticking out here. Obviously when I pulled it out, it'll be down here sort of thing if that makes any sense to you at this point in time. But um, I'll show you what I mean as we go on. But yeah, so I'm gonna make a little uh, pillar candle here. These can also be used for wax melts, but this one's a, uh, a present box with some details around the side. So we'll see how this comes out. The wax I'm gonna be using today is the Kerasoy Pillar Wax 4120. It's the only wax I ever use for pillar candles or wax melts. Brilliant for wax melts. Uh, link in the description below for where to buy that. Right, so I'm gonna try and pull this uh, through now. So as I say, I've got the needle already poked through and I'm just gonna ease that through, which is now pulling the, the wick, hopefully through the hole. So you can see it trying to go through in there. Just give it some tug, just ease it through. And you can see I've just got it coming through now. So I've just got to get that knot through, the knot that I've tied for it just to stay on. And there we go, that, that's come through. So now that I've got my wick through, I've got more than enough pulled through at this end, uh, so I can cut it, cut that now. And that's more than enough. Leave plenty, because you can trim it up at the end. But this is gonna be the top of the candle here when it's uh, pulled out of the mold. So at the base, you don't need so much. All right. But when it's cooling, you wanna keep it nice and taut, nice and tight, so it has an even burn. If it's nice, if it's loose, for example, like that, if it's slack, then you're gonna get an uneven burn. So you, you do wanna try and keep it tight when, it, when you pour the wax in and that's cooling. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So I'm gonna melt some wax now and pour that in. Okay, so I've got my liquid wax now, so that's all melted down. Just did a temperature check on that and that's at 76 degrees. So that's fine, I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit longer. I'm gonna to aim to pour about 68, which won't take long because I haven't got much in here. So I'm gonna do another quick Test now, we're at 71, if you can see that on there. 71.8 degrees Celsius, so I'm just gonna, um, so as you can see, I've already put a peg on there. That's what I'm gonna use to keep the uh, wick taut as it's cooling. I'm gonna take that off for now. I'm just gonna put that on after I've poured the wax in, because it's a lot easier to pour the wax in when that's out of the way. Then pull that nice and tight, put the, the, um, the peg on, and that'll keep that nice and tight inside. All right, still got the bit obviously coming out the end. This will be the top when that's pulled out later on. Quick temperature check on my wax. So that's at uh, 62, but that's probably on the edge. So it's probably at 65 now, so that's ready to pour. Just gonna put my wick over there, and I'm gonna pour carefully. Just get my stirring spoon out. Put that on a bit of tissue. Right, now I'm just gonna pour that in slowly to the top. 
So that's poured in perfectly there. So that's pulled in all nice. So now is when I'm going to put my wick nice and straight. So again, just in the middle, getting a nice grip on that. And then push your wick down and that pulls it even tighter. And you just want to check overhead that it is centered. Because remember, when this is cooled, you won't be able to move obviously the wick. Now's the time to move it left and right, just to center it. So that's perfectly centered for me. And that's that, so that's gonna cool down now. And then we'll have a look at that when we uh, take that out. So again, the, the wax I'm using to make this is a pillar wax, so it's a hard wax designed for pillar candles, wax melts, and these type of pillar candles. So this is a pillar candle, only very small, but a pillar candle is freestanding, so there's no container, it stands on its own. Uh, so you do need a harder type of wax for that, which is what pillar waxes are for. You don't want to be using a candle, sorry, you don't want to be using a candle container wax for pillar candles because it's too soft. If you're using a candle container type of wax, when you uh, light it later on, once you've pulled it out of the mold and light that later on, it's all gonna fall to bits because of the wax is too soft. So you need a harder wax so it, it does a con controlled burn. Obviously you need this to be burning safely. Whether it be in your house or you're selling it to potential customers, it needs to be a safe burn. So a pillar ca pillar wax is what you need for these. Right, so we'll give that some time to cool down and then we'll have a look at it when we take it out. Okay, so we've given this a couple of hours to set now. So now we're gonna try and release it from the mold. Let's find out how easy it releases. So we can now just take off our peg clip and just to release it, we're just gonna put it on the sides. I'm really interested to see how detailed the edges of, of our wax are. It's actually the first time I've used this uh, this mold actually. So I'm just pulling it, just releasing it from the side. Obviously I don't want to damage any of the detail along the side. So I'm just releasing it from the sides at the minute. And now I'm just going to push it from the bottom. Just pushing it from the bottom. And I can see it's looking really good actually. It's looking really good. Get a bit more of a push. There we are. Look at that. So obviously it's a little bit tight to get out because we're just still pulling through the wick at the bottom. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> Thinking why is it so so tight? So look at that. That there is absolutely brilliant. So obviously that's the, the base of our let me just cut this off so it sits sits a bit more flat. This is the base, we don't need this here no more. So that's done, so that's how our candle's gonna sit. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see the detail hopefully in this in this here. So now this is what I'm talking about. Again, let me just trim this down so it looks a uh, a bit better. Obviously we don't need it that long. Trim it down. Just about a centimetre is what you're looking for. So a centimetre is 10 mils. See that there? Right. Now here, this is exactly what you want from this type of uh, mould. It's the detail, the very fine detail still that's left in the wax. So I don't know if you can see how fine that is. You should be able to see how fine that is. But that is beautiful in terms of the uh, decoration. Obviously I haven't colored it. If I'd colored it, it'd stand out even more. But you can see just how exquisitely that has taken. And it's all about the wax, people. I, I see so many people in the groups talking about candle wax. I'm using candle wax for their wax melts and they're not getting any detail. They're complaining about why is it all getting smudged when they're pulling it out. 
it's because candle wax is such a soft wax. Candle wax is designed for candles. It's designed to go in a in a container. And it's, it's designed in a way so it burns properly for a candle. It's not designed for wax melts or pillar candles. So it's not going to work. So when you see lots of people talking about I'm using this type of wax which is a candle wax and they're suffering from frosting, they're suffering from they can't keep the detail in, in their wax melts or their pillar candles, it's because you're using the wrong wax. Plain and truth of it, you're using the wrong wax. It's not designed for the purpose is the purpose of what you're using it for. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make some more of these candles. Some more of these different types of pillar candles and different designs just to show you how well it comes out. And for the fun of making them, to be honest, it's been quite fun. First time I've used it, like I said. And I'm um, yeah, really happy with that. I'm going to actually uh, dye some next time so they come out, you know, in whatever colour dye I have. That's really pretty. Um, so yeah, so if you want to be using the, the, if you want to be making stuff similar to this, use the right wax. Um, I sell the wax that I use here. So guys, I, if you're not aware, I'm a stockist of wax melt supplies and soon to be candle supplies. Uh, I supply this wax, this very wax is what I supply. Um, it's the Kerasoy 4120 designed for pillar candles and wax melts. Link in the description below. I've really put it at, at the some of the best prices out there. So you know it, I can't do I can't really give it the only thing next I can do is give it away but yeah so um uh yes yes buy it buy it in a small small sample give it a go you're happy with it buy more you know it's 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 not rocket science guys so if any of you guys out there are using candle wax um seriously consider giving this wax a try carousel pillow wax 41 20 link in the description below literally it's an amazing wax um i will say if you're buying it through amazon or ebay don't always trust that you're getting the exact type of wax that you're paying for um if you're going to be buying wax buy it from an actual reputable supplier there's quite a few of them out there uh, the problem with ebay and amazon is that you don't know who you're buying the product from and uh, let's just say there is quite a few people saying a wax is a particular type because they can charge more for that and then send you a different type of wax. You've got no way of knowing. I've heard lots of people comment about certain types of waxes which I've used before with um, to good effect. Not as good as this wax, but to good effect. And they're saying in, in, the, in the Facebook pages that they're struggling with it. And I just can't believe that it is the wax that they're saying it is. Different types of waxes, not one not one type of wax, different types of waxes. Um, good waxes as well. Waxes designed for um, wax melts. And uh, yeah, they're just getting um, results as if it's a candle wax, a cheap candle wax, probably a blend. And um, yeah. So anyway, if you're going to be buying your products and you want to build up a reputable business, think about the future now so if you if you want to build up a s successful business you need to be using reputable ingredients so ingredients that are high quality um, high quality that doesn't mean high price but you need to guarantee that the product you think you're putting into your wax melts or candles is the product that you're actually buying otherwise you've got no consistency in your remakes so if you're buying from eBay, for example, you buy a particular wax, you use up that wax and then you go back to eBay and then you buy another, you buy more wax. But you, you, you can't guarantee you're getting the same wax as what you had before. Um, yeah, so you need consistency in what you're making to build up a business anyway. 